Hi guys, let's look at the difference between certification of a document and notarization of a document. So what's essentially the difference and why am I actually interested in talking about this? There's a document I was recently supposed to certify. Okay, and because previously in the past I've I've, I've done a process called notarization of a document uh, sometime in the past. I felt they were, I just assumed that uh, it was the same thing. And on this document, I was supposed to certify when they wrote the the criteria or the, um, the, the individuals who are able to certify that document. They wrote a notary officer as one of the persons. So I just assumed that they were the same thing. And in the process of trying to get this document certified, I reached out to a couple of solicitors or lawyers and i was using the term notarization i was saying i would like to notarize my you know a document and they were giving me quotes that were quite um expensive i wouldn't say outrageous but i would say expensive and i wasn't really really willing to pay such an amount until i asked further and asked further and asked further for clarification and someone gave me a call thankfully uh, a colleague gave me a call and explained that actually for that document all I need to do is to certify and explain that certification is actually a much simpler process than notarization uh, and it's actually uh, far less expensive you know it costs about uh, a tenth of what's of the cost of a notarization so I actually reached out to a solicitor who I previously reached out to uh concerning notarization or the same the same solicitor company not exactly the same solicitor but the same company and they've offered uh a company that was telling me about 200 dollars previously is now saying it's going to cost five dollars per document so you can see how uh how how much uh you know um they, it, it comes to in terms of cost now what's what was the difference between notarization and certification from my understanding i'm not a legal person but I've, I've inquired to find out the difference so the basic difference is that in notarization the notary personnel who could be a solicitor if they, if they have that notary license or any other person who is, who is who is licensed to notarize a document what it simply means is that they have to verify that that document is legit uh, that document is original so they are very they have to verify the content the 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 legality the originality okay of the content of that document which which of course is them uh, bearing more legal consequences if that document is maybe if someone finds out in the future that, that document was forged or is fake then that notary officer uh, might have some legal consequences you know if they if they notarize that that document is original is genuine and down the line is discovered that it was actually a fake document then i think uh, they might go in for that or they might bear some consequence on the other hand certification is certification doesn't put any legal burden on whoever is doing that certification all certification entails is that that person is certifying or is stating that an original copy not the original now they've looked at the original they've looked at the photocopy they're just certifying that that photocopy is an exact uh, replica or is, 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 a, is, a, is a photocopy of the original document that's all they are doing they're not verifying the veracity or originality or genuineness of the content of that document so there's no legal burden on them if down the line that document is discovered to be a fake or forged document there's no legal consequence on whoever certified it as long as they are as long as they are qualified to certify documents if you know what i mean so i think i think a lot of the burden a lot of the costs of uh, notarization obviously would be the effort that person that notary officer puts into ensuring that that or that document is original because they might have to contact the issuer of like i i i mean i think it's is is the right thing to do to contact the issuer of that document to to verify that that document is actually genuine and was issued by that institution and um, of course they will, they will have to cover you know uh, the fact that if anything goes wrong legally there's some there could be some you know potentially there could be some some legal consequence on that notary officer if that document is um, discovered to be fake so i just felt i should share this uh, this this information i learned along the way uh, because i believe someone who this might actually help someone who would 
probably have paid 100 to 200 dollars you know save them a lot of money and they might end up paying five to ten or fifteen dollars so i think um this information might be helpful to someone so um share like uh, subscribe to my channel thanks guys bye